So this is the um, uh, little VGA, uh, it's an OV7670 uh, camera that I bought from Banggood for about $4. And it's uh, they come in two different um, uh, two different kinds of camera like this. One of them has a FIFO buffer and its own clock generator on the bottom, and the other one doesn't. This is the cheap one. It's just got um, the bunch of pins here, but these are exactly the pins that fit into that uh, female socket on the rover kit. So you can plug this camera there, and you can get the camera to work. What you can also do is um, to get the LCD to do something colorful, uh, you can uh, load up Adafruit. I've got a specific uh, library uh, for the ESP Rover um, uh, LCD screen. And if you simply open an example from that library and run the graphics example, you'll see plenty of pretty pictures on uh, this thing and it'll uh, do the test and use your LCD screen nicely. However, the minute you plug in the camera, that all disappears. Uh, you cannot use the graphics screen anymore. And the reason for that is that um, on the design of the board and the pin layout, they contend for the same uh, GPIO pins. So let's start off and just have a quick look at the cam. Um, I'm going to look at the schematic for um, uh, for the rover board. And this is the camera port. Oh, this is the LCD screen. And if you look around here, um, you can see what pin numbers uh, this thing is using. Pin 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, and 25. So those pins are essentially connected to the LCD screen. However, when you look at the camera port, you'll find the same pins are in use. 21 is used here for the clock, 23 for HREF, uh, 25 for VSync, and so on and so forth. So uh, the, ro the Rover kit is basically um, making it really difficult to use both the camera and the LCD screen at the same time. Uh, there's contention for the pins and you don't have an easy way of rewiring it. Uh, that's the way the tracks have been laid out on the board. Let's go back to the schematic now for the uh, camera port on the board. One of the um, uh, pins that is not often talked about is this pin over here called Power Down, PWDN. And um, it can put the camera to sleep. Uh, in fact, the camera has a sleep mode that can be initiated uh, via this hardware pin. Or it has also has a sleep mode that can be initiated via software by setting one of its registers in a, uh, to a certain bit. So um, if you look up the specification uh, of the uh, camera, um, down in register 09, uh, one of the bits there is called the soft sleep mode. And if you set that bit to one, your camera will go to sleep. If you set it back to zero, your camera will wake up. That's the way you can do it in software, but in hardware, what you could do is um, you can take this line and it's uh, active high. That means you have to make the line high uh, in order to put the camera to sleep. And if you look at what they've done on the circuitry in the board, they've tied that line to ground so that the camera is always active when it's plugged in. When the camera goes to sleep, it tri-states uh, some of the lines on its bus. So it lets go of the bus and goes into a high impedance state. And then it won't interfere with the bus. So I thought the first thing to do would be to experiment with this barred arm thing. Um, I, can't, I didn't want to cut tracks on my board or anything like that. So the easiest way to... Um, and, and because this camera plugs into the socket on the board, 
I didn't have an easy way to disconnect this power down signal so that I could uh, give another voltage. But I was um, able to uh, bend the pin out of the way. And so looking at my little camera board from the bottom, you can see that I've grabbed uh, this power down pin here. I've bent it and I've attached the jumper to it. And now if I attach this jumper to, um, uh, to VCC to 3.3 volts, then uh, the camera stays in power down mode and I can use my uh, graphics display without any problem. Even though the board is plugged in, uh, it works because I can control whether the board is actually attached to the bus or not by controlling this line. Obviously, I could put this line onto another I.O. pin and then I would have software control of it. I could say, make the pin high, the camera would go to sleep. Make the pin low, the camera would wake up. So that's one way of doing it, and that seems to have worked fine for me. I can now plug this board uh, into my Rover kit, and I can make this line high, and then I can initialize the graphics and run with it, and it works. So I'm pleased to say that, that uh, the hardware solution seemed to work just fine. I didn't have success with the software solution, so I just want to report back. Maybe somebody else knows how to get this thing to work, but I wasn't able to ha uh, get any success with this thing. This bit can put the camera to sleep. There's no doubt about that. But you can't talk to this bit uh, until your clock is running and, the, uh, and you've initialized the camera. And that very initialization of the camera means that your, um, your LCD display uh, freaks out and doesn't work anymore. So I haven't been able on, uh, with this pin contention that I've got here, I haven't been able to um, exploit the software solution to the problem, but I can exploit the hardware solution to the problem. So if anyone has a good idea or can get these things to work together, so that you can interleave them. You could use the camera, take a couple of frames, and then get your LCD up and put the um, put the frame onto the LCD. If anyone gets that but working via the soft sleep mode, I'd really be interested in hearing what you did. I found the pins uh, were wired in such a way that I just couldn't get everything to work at the same time. So I hope uh, this helps you. There is a sleep mode. You can do it in hardware. Uh, it required bending one of the pins on the camera, but since the camera is worth about $4, I thought that was an acceptable risk. It, and it was easier than soldering. I could have, in fact, soldered on the top of the board, uh, but I decided to rather bend the pin and just put a jumper onto it. So thanks for watching. I hope if you've got a, uh, if you have a rover and you have camera and you want to use the camera and the LCD, uh, this may just give you one little way to try and get both working at the same time. Cheers.